very creepy and atmospheric night. This is, can't see, that's Poppy. Perry and Pansy? Are following? I don't know. Um, quick follow up. Um, because I think I'm going to run out of space because I haven't dealt with it. Uh, because I still haven't put up my Instagram from my last trip. But, um, it's, I'm planning to do it tonight. And I will put a link in, why not, in the description. Perry. And Poppy. In the fog. Um, which is, first of all, uh, from my trip, I did do quarantine, and, uh, it was very strange, and the same as the last time, I was, like, going to, kind of, crazy, being forced to be stuck home, I don't know how people did it for weeks on end, um, my test came back negative, obviously, because I'm out with three of the cats. Um, and pro actually, I know that Pix is in the house and Percy is probably following it. I can never see him. Right, Perry? Um, the other thing was, I have complained about my family and that I think that they are done with me. Um, thanks to the very aggressive campaign that my son had to smear me. Um, and I have my proof, which is, I can talk about this because he never watches my videos. Um, um, I plan to, um, basically get him a bespoke Christmas tree. <laughs> Let's call it that. Um, he's very into cartoons and video games and, of course... Where that intersects is Pokemon. So I'm getting him Pokemon ornaments for his tree. I already bought his tree. And I ordered some ornaments on Etsy form. And then I thought, oh, well, hmm. Um, I have a cousin who was on disability. And he's constantly trying to make money any way he can. And in the past, he has painted Christmas ornaments. He gives them away as gifts. And I was like, well, why don't I commission him to do a bunch of Pokemon ornaments? Um, and, of course, I'd pay whatever he wanted. Probably double pay whatever he wanted. Um, got in touch with him, and he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing ornaments this year. Bullshit. <laughs> he's... He's needing money. Yeah, Percy, Perry, Poppy, Pansy, and Pixie is in the house. Um, this is a guy that scrambles for cash all the time. Not that that's a bad thing. I mean, he's a parent. He has two children. But my money isn't good for him. It's like, okay... Cats are crazy. They're playing in the brushes. Um, so yeah, my family is out. My son has mostly been okay. Although today, he point blank, blank asked me why I'm not dead yet. And I was like, well, because I had a five-year plan. And the reason for the five-year plan was to have what I thought of as inevitable um, be more convenient to other people. And there was this tiny, disgusting bit of hope in the back of my head. Because that's a problem when you have a voting personality disorder is you always have hope that maybe it wouldn't have to happen. And somehow, 
well, my mother died. <laughs> Somehow. I figured a way to not do that. Um, I have been colossally depressed. Um, which is why I don't have... Oh, Perry, you're running too fast. I guess we're going to make this a really short trip. Let's turn back around. What do you think, Pear? You don't want to see Halloween decorations anyway. And I'm going to run out of space on my card. I know I am. Anyway, um... You know, I, I don't have the pictures up. There's proof. It was a weird trip. Anyway, but I'll put... Like I said, did I say? I'll put a link so that you can see them. And then it'll sort of force me to do it. There's Percy. Percy. Perry. Poppy. And Pix is smart enough to go back. And all that is... um like mist in the air. Isn't that creepy? <laughs> you can see it when I put the light on. Anyway, um, oh yeah, and then the other update. <clears throat> the other update is I do have a health issue that seems to be ongoing. Actually, I noticed today, <sighs> because in retrospect, there were symptoms happening that I didn't recognize because, I mean, please, it wasn't until it was a pattern that I was like, huh, and then I'm like, well, when, you know, it aligned that when I started being depressed, which I think was when I went on my New Hampshire trip, which was in July, was it, because the first symptom symptoms I can recall happened in June, and they aligned, and so I think that maybe has something to do with why I'm depressed. Maybe I'm physically ill. Duh. <laughs> um, that happens. Let's see if these cats are actually going to follow me. Here they come. Can you see them hopping along? Probably not. Um, that was freaky. But what's going on is this. I had the first round of tests that came back negative for an infection. Which kind of sucks. Um, I mean, it doesn't, but it mm, kind of does, because that would have been, like, real easy. Um, so they did all these, these basic, like, well, this is what, you know, I, I, I don't have an infection, and I don't have what would be an obvious bad thing. Obvious and, and um, common. Um, that's a no. Um, but I, I have something that's actually even more concerning because of the negatives, you know. I mean, if it was one or the other, the second would be bad, but it would be very, you know, they know what to do. They have no idea what's going on with this. So I have a next set of tests or actual internal scans so you can see everything that's going on and uh, maybe at least send them in, you know, send me in the right direction. Um, that's next Tuesday. Um, and then who knows how long it will take for those results to come back. Um, and then they said that probably, oh, it's pants. She doesn't usually walk this far. She has a um, heart problem. You're pretty far. You usually stay up on the other road. Okay, let's go back. She's yelling at me. So all four of them are here, right with me. That's so weird. I had all five in the house today. That was even weirder. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm, I'm very, very up in the air. You know, the obvious and easy fixes have been nixed. Um, again, the next test is a, like a scan so they can get a visual on what's going on because it's like inside um, and then from there they told me to expect it is more likely than not that I'll at least have to have a biopsy and then they gave me like a list of other more invasive you know how much they would take away um with the assumption being, well, 
we can nickel and dime this or we can just get it all done in one fell swoop and it sounds like it sounds like they are more likely to do the one fell swoop because well because one it's um it's easier for one person you know to have one surgery versus eight or ten and also it's cheaper to have one surgery um i had to wait until insurance would approve for me to go forward with these testings i was like are you kidding <laughs> but uh yeah so that's what's going on i'm in limbo um oh the other thing though because again there's something they just don't know what it is um when i came back from my trip i had a prescription waiting for me because they want me to you know I guess start being supported is a way of putting it. I don't know how you would put it. Um, yeah, they want they want me to start up on stuff. I mean, who knows? Maybe maybe I'll just be on a prescription for the rest of my life and no big deal. Um, very very unlikely. But that's what they started when my father started with his Alzheimer's. The first thing they did was put him on vitamin B because who knows? Maybe all his symptoms were. A B deficiency. So that's basically what they're doing. They're like, well, maybe it's this other thing that's really super basic and you just need this prescription and everything's cool. We don't think so, but wouldn't it be stupid if we made you go through a surgery and it turned out all you needed was a prescription? So that's where that stands. And because I'm out so early, I'm going to stop this now because I have to get four cats out of the road before they get swished by a car. Bye.